Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Tonight we're going to be having an attempt at a Jamie Oliver recipe from one of his classic books. It is called Tray Baked Chicken Maryland. I don't know if you can see that. And it's from his Jamie Dinner's book, A Chicken Maryland. Actually it comes from Maryland in the USA apparently, uh, but that one they use fried chicken. So this one's a teeny bit healthier with uh, some funky ingredients in. In fact, what we're going to be doing is getting a chicken breast and stuffing banana inside it. So it's uh, kind of cool, right? Let's have a look at what you need. Got a nice big tray. So that's all going to sit in there. There's some chicken breasts there, there's four of them there, so I've started to open the pack, I'm just going to cut slits in them. And I say we're going to get these bananas, got two of those, and they're going to be stuffed in there. How cool is that? Then we've got 12 rashes of bacon, 55 grams of butter, a tin of butter beans, which is uh, quite cool, never dealt with them before. 300 ml of double cream. Got four cobs of sweet corn, which have stood up kind of like a, a wall or a soldier effect, I don't know. What we're going to do is get a knife and run it down there so the corn fills off. Fills off, falls off, so you know you can just chuck the stalks away or you know whatever that bit in the middle is called. And I've got a large glass of white wine. It just says a large glass of white wine, and the only way I could think of measuring that was to just grab a large glass and pour the wine in. So that's what I did. Just want to quickly say a big thank you to a lady called Selena from ragamuffins.co.uk. You can just about see the ragamuffins. Um, this is the address, ragamuffins.co.uk. Ding. Um, she basically sent me um, some truffles and they are blooming tasty. They're lemon and poppy seed flavour and some whiskey ones. And I uh, recommend you go to the website because she does those and muffins and chutneys and stuff. So uh, check it out. It was really good. Um, really yummy actually. And in fact, there's only two left, but I had a, a fair few cents. So uh, thanks a lot. Uh, let's get on with this recipe then, yeah? Okay, then, guys, so this one shouldn't take too long. First thing I'm going to do is grab my sweet corn and just run a knife down it so all the corn falls off. So, uh, start to see that. See that? It's just popping away. So, do that with all four of them, plonk it in your tray. Woo! Okay, then, guys, so the sweet corn's all been mashed up and put it in there. Got a little bit messy actually, which is uh, kind of cool. But anyway, they are all in there. It's like a nice sea of sweet corn, okay? So what I've done now is grab my bananas and peeled them and they're not ready like that. What we're gonna do is mash them up, okay? So they make a sort of funky mash puree. And the chicken breasts, I flipped them over on the other side so they've got a little bit of a pocket there. I'm gonna try and make a little surgical incision in there to make a little pocket. And about half of each banana of the mashed squish puree stuff, we're gonna try and stuff it in there and fold it back over. So uh, let's see how it goes. Woo! There we go then guys, that's the banana all mashed up, all cool. As you can see with this chicken, what I've done is I've slit it along there to open it even wider and it's formed a nice pocket when I fold that over. So, what I'm going to do now, let's see if I can just start to do it a little bit, one-handed, is just stuff that in there and then we're going to fold it over and it'll cook with it. So, uh, do that to your four chicken breasts and then we can move on to the butter beans. Woo! There we go then guys, that's the chicken all stuffed with a banana, not too bad, nice and full, a little bit of banana seeping out, but it's all good, okay? So now we're going to move on to our butter beans. I've separated the tin in half, so I've got some there which we're going to mash up as well like we did with the banana, and the rest we're going to keep nice, big and chunky. Now butter beans, this is the first time I've ever had the chance to open a tin before, that actually smells like dog food, so uh, you know, not the nicest smell. I'm going to actually try one now, see what it's like. Very bland. No taste at all, it just tastes like eating paper. Um, hopefully the, the flavours from all the other ingredients will help support it and make it just, uh, you know, just something on, alongside it. But I'm sure it has some sort of purpose, so um, separate that, mash it up. Woo! Okay, then guys, so I've put the mashed butter beans on there. You probably can't see it, it's kind of camouflaged in with the sweet corn and the actual butter beans, which you can see because they're hogging the light. And it does still kind of smell like dog food. I hope that changes. Um, so what we're going to do now is basically carefully get our chicken onto there. Um, so just put it on there, flip it upside down so the bit with the, where we tucked our pocket in is underneath. So uh, do that guys. Okay guys, so that's all done. We are getting there and as you can see I've seasoned it with salt and pepper. What we've got to do now is grab our double cream and our wine and pour it over the top. So do that. Okay, so grab your cream. Oh, I've just preheated my oven to gas mark 7 by the way. That's going to go all over it. Like so. Wow, that's a lot of cream, that's cool. And then your wine. Maybe I should have put it in a jug, but we'll see how this goes. Wow. That's all on there. And hopefully the alcoholic content in the wine <coughs> will burn off, otherwise I'm gonna be very, very drunk. Well, only one glass of wine, but you know, it's a start, right? Woo! All we've got to do now is add some butter on there. We add our 50 grams of butter, we're gonna put some little chunks, spread it all around there. Spread our bacon on top, and we are done. 
There we go then guys, so I've put the bacon over the chicken, so it kind of just looks like bacon sat in milk at the moment, but I promise you there's all funky stuff underneath that. Um, all we've got to do now is basically shove that in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. Um, it should be nice and crispy on the top, and hopefully it looks something a little bit like that, hopefully. Um, and all we've got left is a little bit of mint leaves to garnish, and I'm going to put some bread and butter on the side. So uh, that is it guys, as easy as that. Let's see what it comes out like. Woo! Right here then guys, half an hour's gone, it's nearly ready. In that time I've got some bread, some crusty bread, cut it up and just slapped it on the George for me for a little bit so you can probably see the lines in it just about. Put some olive oil on it and some other mint leaves that I had hanging about. So that'll go quite nicely with the meal once it's done. I've just had a teeny look, it doesn't look identical to the book. Um, unfortunately I think it'll have to put a bit too much cream or maybe wine on it. It's a bit more watery, but it smells great. So hopefully, either way, it'll still be a good meal. So we'll see what happens. Okay then guys, that is it, it is all done. As you can see, there is a heck of a lot of liquid left in there. So maybe I don't know if I ever did it a little bit with the measures, but it still smells amazing. And the sauce, to dip my finger in, is good. So let's get it on the plate with our bready things and uh, see what it tastes like. Okay then guys, there we go. So you can see I've just uh, put it all in the bowl, shoved the bread in with it as well, and just covered it in some mint leaves. Um, so as you can see, presentation isn't my forte, but let's ultimately let's see what it tastes like, right? So let's grab a bit, some chicken and some bacon and some of the banana stuff, see what that tastes like. Oh wow. That's got like a really weird kick to it, like the wine and the banana merging together, it's kind of like an alcoholic fruit. With the chicken and bacon as well, just backing up. That is, that's weird, but it's kind of tasty actually. So um, yeah, I'm gonna finish that. Ooh, I don't always finish the stuff I make by the way guys, but I'm gonna finish that. That is actually pretty darn good. So. Chicken with banana stuffed in it is actually pretty cool. Um, have a go for yourself, let me know how you get on, and I'll see you again next time. I mean, if I can do that, anyone can. Bye.